My coverage of Computex 2018 is brought to you by Gigabyte, Cooler Master, Team Group, and Thermaltake. Hey guys, I'm at Corsair. Uh, uh, the lighting in here is a little weird, so I apologize for that, but they have really cool lighting for things, which is strange. But anyway, point being, I'm going to take a look at a couple new cases, as well as the IQ software, which Corsair has been developing to give you the maximum amount of control possible over your RGB LEDs. Let's take a look. Let's start out right here. The Vengeance RGB Pro, the successor to the Vengeance LED kits that they came out with last year. These are pretty. They have basically redesigned the top beam. They have individual addressable LEDs, so that means they're compatible with the new IQ software that's in development. Beyond this, um, I mean, it's, it's aesthetically different. Uh, they are also running these at higher speeds, so they did have a kit over here that's running at a pretty high frequency, 4700 speed, cast latency 19, so that was pretty impressive. They are expecting to actually launch this kit later this year, so probably in another few months, so you might be able to actually get it, buy it, install the XMP setting, and get some fast mem memory up and running. Next up is IQ. That's I-C-U-E. Also, sounds like it, you're really smart, too. Uh, this is the advancement of the software, and uh, you, if you guys remember last year at Computex, I did a very specific video on this, or I covered it in great detail because I thought it was really cool. Corsair is working to try to get all of the LEDs working together on your system. So with the software, you can still see all the connected devices. Right now, they have an RGB Platinum K95 keyboard, an RGB mouse, a wireless headset, a RGB headset stand, a mouse mouse, Matt, a H150i Pro, the power supply, the Vengeance RGB Pro memory in there, as well as the Commander Pro that's connecting up the fans and the LED strips. Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to explain all of the different features of this software, but for one, it has a full mode where you can actually go in and then individually select different devices to control them. If you're controlling the Vengeance RGB Pro memory, for example, you can individually select the LEDs on it. You can even flip them or rearrange them, since different motherboards have different layouts for the dim slots, and some of them have flips dim slots just so you can make sure the LEDs are going in the right direction. When it's in the full mode, it's actually going to use up some CPU resources, so they also have a slim mode where you can pop it over to the side that will uh, use less resources, so if you're doing some uh, overclocking or system stress testing, your Corsair IQ software will not be eating up CPU cycles, and it also tucks it away over the side so you can still access all of the monitoring features, uh, because there's tons of monitoring features for system uh, fan speeds, temperatures, and you can rearrange those, so you can take a specific temperature and break it out, uh, you can rearrange all the boxes, so it's very you can basically set it up how you want it to look. Another cool feature is just the simple access for single color lighting. So if you're finding the controls to be a little too complex for you, you can just go up there, select a single color, and change your entire rig or your entire set of RGBs to that single color. There's a whole range of lighting effects in here too, so they're taking advantage of the switch over to addressable individual RGB LEDs. Uh, they, they had a red, white, and blue theme that was pretty cool, some full color themes, some dual color themes. Uh, I think they're all quite pretty, especially if you get the entire RGB setup like Corsair has going on here. And then you can also attach the software to specific application launches. So for example, if you queue up a movie, you can have it set to automatically turn all the fans off, not just the RGBs in the fans, but also the fans themselves, to keep the system running nice and quiet while it's doing a fairly simple task of playing back a movie. And then you can watch your movie in in silence and without any lights from your RGB LEDs and then uh, switch back off and they all come right back on. Oh and while I'm here here's a look at the Obsidian Series 500D RGB Special Edition. The Obsidian 500D has been out for a little bit. This one has been updated. Uh, it's going to come with some individually addressable RGB LED fans. Now the Special Edition is going to cost you about a hundred bucks more than the standard 500D but it does come with a three pack of the individually addressable 120 millimeter Corsair RGB LED fans you can see installed right here and also comes with a Commander Pro. So if you look at buying those things retail, you are getting a bargain by getting this all together. And with this case and the slightly tinted tempered glass windows, the RGB LEDs do look quite nice. So I think it's a nice option for anyone who wants to get the package and get themselves started on the road to RGB goodness. And finally, here's the Crystal Series 280X and 280X RGB. The white version is the 280X RGB. This is a micro ATX case, which is a form factor that I really like, and it's cool to see more cases embrace this form factor for motherboards. Not quite as tiny as Mini ITX, but you still get some expandability options there. So the 280X RGB version will come with a couple 120 millimeter LL Series RGB fans, as well as a lighting node pro. So again, you can get yourself up and running with RGB LEDs. 
Still has the same uh, features and layout of the other case, so you got tempered glass on the top, the front, as well as the left side. IO panel has your basic uh, couple USB 3.0 ports, mic, headphone, power, and reset button. And they have put some dust filters on the top and front intakes. Uh, here's a look at the black version without a system in it, so you can sort of get a little bit better idea of the layouts. Uh, it's got the two chamber design, so it's a little bit wider of a case, but you can put the power supply on the right side, your system goes in the left side. And lastly, they do have a 1000D here that's all decked out uh, with the Corsair RGB LEDs and IQ software, but I don't need to show you guys that because I've already done two videos on the 1000D, and yes, I am gonna be following that up on those videos with a water cooling set up in there, and I'll definitely be trying out the IQ software too because uh, it's nice that that new version has come out with a lot more functionality, uh, and I'm definitely gonna get that system set up so it's just beautiful with lots of specialized RGB lighting effects. So if you're interested in that video, definitely hit the subscribe button down there, hit the thumbs up button on this video if you enjoyed it. I will be back with more coverage from Computex 2018 very soon, and of course a big thank you to my sponsors, Gigabyte, Cooler Master, Thermaltake, and Team Group. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.